Have you ever wished you could have beautiful, smooth finishes on your FDM 3D printed parts? Well, today I'm going to walk you through one of the various processes available for doing this so you can create a beautiful display or marketing or just other communication piece where you want something that has some excellent finish on it starting from just a standard FDM 3D printed part. I'm Joseph with Go Engineer, and I'm going to walk you through this process. There is some elbow grease involved, but if you're only going to do it once in a while, this method will work great. You begin with sanding. I like to start with a lower grit sandpaper, like a 320 or 680 sandpaper. This allows me to knock off all those high ridges really quickly and get a good start on the project. But the real trick here is to leave the dust in place. Don't go washing or blowing off any of this dust. We want to use it. The next step is to use acetone or Weld on 4 to melt the surface of the plastic. This is why we want to leave the dust on it. So I'm just using a spray bottle with acetone to melt that surface layer and smooth it out. It gives a little bit of a foggy surface, that's just how acetone reacts with ABS, but it smooths it out beautifully. Next is wet sanding. I'm starting with a 600 grit wet sandpaper before moving on to priming. Using an automotive filler primer, we will additionally fill in any of those bumps left behind from our sanding. It's always better to use multiple coats than to get it too thick and have runs or drips. So take your time and be prepared to do several coats. Once you get the primer on, give it sufficient time to dry based on what the bottle says, and then move into wet sanding again. This is where I'll want to use a 2000 or 3000 grit wet sandpaper to really smooth out the surface to prepare it for our paint. Take your time on this step and do it well because this is the foundation for your finished product. If this doesn't look good, the rest of it won't look good either. Take your time here, make sure you get a really good smooth surface before moving on to paint. When painting, again, use nice even coats. It's really annoying to have to sand off the final paint job and go back and repaint it just because you got a little run in it. Again, this is to look really good, so take your time. It's better to do multiple coats than to get runs and drips. As this is an automotive part, I chose an automotive touch-up spray paint to use for it to give it that finish that I was really looking for to represent the type of part it's going to be, in this case, a rear view mirror. Whether you choose a glossy paint or not can depend on what final finishing you want to do to it. Here I'm going to give it a final wet sanding before I apply a gloss and even a polish to it. But that will all depend on the end finish that you really want. I chose to just finish it with a high gloss acrylic spray rather than a full polish, but that's just how it worked for me.